Welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of a Quick Hits. Uh, we are back. We got a good show today. We're going to get into Charlo Castano. Doesn't feel like there's this mega fight coming up um, just a couple of days, right? This huge unification fight. But there is. Um, it was just uh, about, you know, two days away from it. Uh, what is today? I don't know. Today's Wednesday night. night three, day, three days away from it. Uh, but before we get to that, please like, share, and subscribe. 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, all forms of social media. Uh, quick Hits comes at you every day. Uh, 8 to 10 minutes to keep you up to date on the latest, greatest boxing news and rumors. Please also subscribe to the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. All proceeds go to Autism Research and Recovery, so it's near and dear to our heart. Please like, share, and subscribe to that channel. Uh, please, um, let's get into uh, today's show. Charlo Castano. Um, the first fight was really good. Um I'm expecting the second fight to be even better, right? Like, I, I felt the first fight was good. It was competitive. It was a clean fight. Um, most people had it 7-5 Castano. 6-6 six, six isn't a draw. I, I think a 6-6 six, six, a draw isn't a stretch. I mean, I, I think once you start getting more than 6-6, six, six, you know, you start scoring the fight in favor of Charlo. Um, I, I think there may be some issues with your scorecards, but it was a really, really good fight. Uh, clean, competitive fight. Charlo rallied late after giving away a lot of early rounds due to inactivity. Um, I, I think this, you know, both guys fought well. I thought there were things that both guys could do better. I thought uh, Charlo obviously could have been more active. I think he could have let his hands go early. Now there's risk involved in that, right? Um, is he will he be willing to take that risk in the rematch? Uh, Castano um, didn't jab enough. You know, Castano usually jabs his way in and throws his power shots, his body shots off the jab. There was too much one shot. There was too much walking straight in, and there wasn't enough jabbing from Castano. That being said, he fought well, and I thought Castano fought well enough where he should have got the, a very close decision. Like I said, I had it seven five. Um, and I'm seeing that that's the most common scorecard as long as as well as six six. Uh, but it was that kind of fight. I think both guys have a path to win, and I think both guys have power, and I think both guys don't want this to go back to the scorecards. I, I think um, you, you're looking at Charlo, you know, he's got a very iffy decision, uh, decision loss uh, to Tony Harrison, a fight a lot of people thought he won. Most people thought he won, although there are people out there who agree with the decision and thought Harrison won. There's certainly a segment of people think that. I, I don't think that Charlo really – Trust going to the judges. I, I think Charlo loves his power, maybe loves it too much. And um, he's going to try late in the fight to get him out. I think that could backfire, right? I think Castano is the better infighter. I don't know that he's the one-punch bigger hitter, which he may be. He might be. A, a, I'm not positive on that. Um, but he's better fighting on the inside. Charlo is very good. He's crafty, he's quick, but he's sloppy and he leaves himself open to be countered at times. Like, he's not a perfect fighter, especially when he picks up the pace. When he picks up the pace and he really steps on the gas, he leaves himself wide open. Um, you know, I, I, I see this fight looking a lot like the first fight, except Castano executing a little better early on. I think he has a lead early on. I think Charlo fights much the same way. I think he's uh, going to try to win the fight late. I, I did an interview with... Um, Derek James, and he kind of said the same thing that, you know, they're going to try to step on the gas late. I, I, I don't know that that's the best path, but if you want to step on the gas earlier, there's risk involved in that, right? Like, you know, you could get knocked out. You could run out of gas. Like, there's a lot of issues, you know, if, you, if, if he does get going early and really let his hands go earlier in the fight instead of waiting for the last couple of rounds. Um, but if his goal is to get a knockout, then he's either got to start early or, you know, really step on the gas late. Um, I don't think he gets Castano out early, so if he's going to go for a knockout, it, it, it's going to be later in the fight. He carries his power. Like, he's got good knockouts late in fights. It's not a problem. He's knocked out world-class opposition. He can do it. Um, I, I, I just don't know if Castano's the right guy. Um, Castano's not going to cooperate. 
Uh, because I was going to beat him up on the inside. He's going to land a lot of good work on the inside. And I, I don't know that if Castano works his jab and, and, and really cuts the ring off on Charlo and can trap him against the ropes and break him down, that Charlo is going to have the legs and the power to rally late like he did last time. Um, I, I think Charlo, uh, Castano not really applying pressure properly in the first fight, let Charlo off the hook and allowed him to rally late. Um, when he should have been, you know, when, when I should have been methodically breaking him down, he kind of didn't do that. Um, this is again, I'm gonna lead towards Castano. Um, you know, I, I talked to Derek James and that talked to Derek James. I kind of said, Well, they're gonna fight the same fight. All Castano has to do is fight a little better, just a hair better than he did the first fight, and he wins. And I think there's room for improvement. Um, I, I think Charlo fought fine. He just fought. He didn't step on the gas early enough. So now they're going to step on the gas and, and try to get him out with kind of the same game plan. It didn't work once when Castano was, you know, left room for improvement. Castano is, is improved. I, I, Castano's going to win. That makes sense. Um, if if Charlo's not going to be busy in those early rounds, those middle rounds, he's going to give away rounds. And, and, and if Cassano is smart, he's going to attack more, be more aggressive, jab his way and work and, and really try to work Charlo out and break him down. Um, t- to me, I'm leaning towards Castano again. Uh, I'm going to say Castano wins the decision. I picked that last time. I, I thought Castano earned it, although I, I don't think a draw was inappropriate by any means. Um, so I'm, I'm going to go with uh, Brian Castano again by unanimous decision, a close decision, but I think he gets it clearly this time. A really hard-earned, hard-fought fight. You know, what do these guys do after that? I, I think Jamel goes to 60, and I, I think Castano's got to say, Castano's not a big guy. You know, I, I haven't been next to him, but you can see him on TV. He doesn't look big. Um, I, I don't think he goes up any more than 54. I think this is where he's at, and I think he's not big for 54. Um. I, so I think he may stay here. He may try to get a, a, a the winner of uh, Spence Crawford, or if that doesn't happen, just fight Crawford. Um, uh, so I, I think there's plenty of fights from at 54. You know, they they got a stable of guys. Jesus Ramos is guys right, ready for the picking. You know, right there for a world title. Um, you know, Sebastian Fondor. They have guys. They have fights for him, so he doesn't have to go anywhere. I, I think 54 is a good look for him. I think he stays there and, and tries to run the division for a while. Whether he can or he can't, I don't know. I uh, think win, loser, draw. I think this is it for 54 for Charlo. I think he goes up to 60, win, loser, draw. Uh, maybe not a draw. Maybe if it's a draw, they fight one more time at 54. Um, but let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Let me know what you think of my prediction. Leave your prediction below. Charlo, Castano, you, are you feeling the hype? I, I, it's hard for me to believe. Like I'm not feeling the hype leading up to this fight. Like There's a major battle for Undisputed in a couple of days. I, don't, I feel like, you know, where the hype at? Um, leave your comments below. It, it uh, Texas, uh, 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog. Please follow us, like, share, and subscribe. All forms of social media. Quick hits comes at you every day, eight to ten minutes a day, to keep you up to date on the latest, greatest boxing news and rumors. And please subscribe to the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene, on YouTube. Texas Boxing Scene, all proceeds go to autism research and recovery. I was near and dear to our heart. It is May 11th, 2022, uh, from Texas to the world. Thank you. And God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.